Hi, it's Richard with another quick tip about Blender. T this time we're going to be talking about the curve modifier. Now, if you want to make the handle for a teacup, or you want to make something really simple and elegant, a nice curve to something, you could sit here and you could take this and subdivide it a few times and then start moving each of these to deform it. There is an easier way, it's called the curve modifier. So let's just, in object mode, we're gonna add, nope, before we start anything, turn those on, dang it. All right, now, in object mode, we're gonna add a curve, because we need a curve to use the curve modifier. And let's go into wireframe. Whoops, it added it way up there. So, shift S, cursor to center, accidentally move the cursor, shift S, Selection to cursor. There we go. We moved it back to the center. All right, so Let's rotate this so that it's aligned with our box Let's look at it in front. So let's rotate around the X 90 degrees now. It's standing upright and We're just gonna scale this up Don't restrict the axis of this curve since it's just a curve. It doesn't have any thickness. So don't hit like uh, scale X uh, You'll get some weird results all right, now, that's basically all we need. If we tab into edit mode, you can see this is a curve, and if you grab these handles, you can change the way that it curves. If you lengthen it, it changes the curve as well. And then if you want to move it, you just grab here in the middle, and you can move this around your perspective as well. So we've got a pretty good curve. There we go. And we're just going to use this box, so let's tab into object mode and go to the box. And we've got all of these subdivisions. Let's Go to our modifiers and we're going to select what do you think curve now since we have to apply this in object mode it's going to show it to us in object mode and well it didn't do anything that's because you need to tell it what to curve to we have the box selected we added the modifier to the box we need it to curve to the bezier curve or bza however you say it i don't much care <laughs> how you say it i use it so now you see that it jumped over here. If we go into edit mode, it didn't do anything. That's why you want to be in object mode for this. You can go into edit mode and select this guy and then select that guy to apply it so it shows it in edit mode. And then this one here applies the mesh to your modifier as well. So you can do that if you want. I just have into edit mode instead of bothering with that every time. And then let's just grab this, since it's all scaled along the x-axis, and drag it across. Now you can see it's dragging along that curve. That's how we make elegant curves. And the more times you subdivide this, the more polygons you have here on what you're deforming, the better your curve is going to look. You can always use subdivision surface on top of this one. Watch like this, and then let's hit right here to move it up. Now we've got a lot more faces. Hmm, it's still only curving uh, not quite as well. Well, you might want to add those faces before you do the curve. So, we pull the curve on here, and you can also do other things. We want to stretch the box along that entire curve, just scale along the X. Now we're dragging, creating it to be longer, and it's going to go along that curve. And something else cool that you can do is if you select your Bezier curve, up here I'm just going to click on it in the outline mode, and tab into edit. Let's go into wireframe. And you can move your curve and it'll deform uh, the box as well. Let's get out of wireframe. See, now you can see if you cross it weirdly, it's going to change the shape. So you want nice gradual curves and you want a lot of faces so that you get the best result possible. And then and that is how you use the curve modifier. When you're done, object mode, go back to the box and just hit apply. And then you can go to your curve and you can just delete it. You don't need that curve anymore since you've applied your modifier. Go to tab and you can see how it's deformed. All of that, that's how you use the curve, mo curve modifier. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you get any weirdness, delete your curve, 
uh, apply it again and start fresh. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.